Today is my 32 week update and every time I get in front of the camera I'm a little excited and I smile and I don't know I am um, <clears throat> to be honest I'm a little nervous for the upcoming weeks. I um, had my doctor's appointment last week and he usually you don't start seeing the doctor every two weeks for another couple of weeks but he was like let's start seeing you every two weeks because he was concerned about how many contractions I've been having and how strong they've been. He's like, if they're stopping you in your tracks, he's like, I think we should probably check you today to see if you're dilated. And I was like, nope, not today. Mm -mm. <laughs> I was like, I didn't even shower this morning. I'm like, no, no, <laughs> no. He's like, oh, are you sure? I'm like, I'll make another appointment and I'll go home and shower first. <laughs> so, mm -mm. <laughs> um, but so he will be checking me next week and I really am interested to know if these contractions are actually doing something or if they're just practicing you know like I hope I hope that I haven't started dilating yet and the only which is insane that's insane to say but I'm too early I this baby needs to cook I want him nice and healthy and strong um, it's insane for me to say that out loud because I've never, I mean, usually I am counting down the days and I'm like, okay, so the induction is scheduled for a week before my due date. We're not going a day after that. That's how every one of my pregnancies have been. I've been induced a week before my due date. And I want to go on my own. I want to go into labor on my own. I want to experience that. I think that it would be a really great experience. And so I'm just trying my best to be happy with how things are going. Um, I've been, like it's hard to walk because my tummy is heavy, my hips hurt, and I feel like I'm not strong enough, like I feel very weak. And um, I didn't hear anything back from my glucose test and so no news is good news. And so I'm pretty sure that there's nothing wrong there. Um, which I was a little worried because when I took the drink, I was sweating, I was hot, I was dizzy. I was just like, oh, I can't do this. I can't do this. I know I have diabetes, but I don't think I do. So I were doing good. I wanted to do the, um, the video today with Joel, but our uh, schedules didn't quite align just right. And so hopefully next week we'll have that up. I've been ordering a ton of new stuff for the baby room and for me. And so as soon as I have all of that together, I'm so excited to do a, it's either going to be like a what's in the baby's closet or a nursery tour and it'll kind of have everything that I've gotten, um, to show you. I am very disappointed because I got online today to order a new brassiere and they don't make the bra that I have been wearing the last three years. They discontinued it. You guys, my cups runneth over. They runneth over. They, <laughs> I, I don't fit into anything. And I did order a nursing bra. I ordered the Bravado nursing bra off of Amazon. Ellie loves it. My sister-in-law loves it. And it is a very comfortable bra. But if you are, then it's not going to give any kind of support. It's a nighttime bra. Like when I wear it under my dresses and stuff, I feel like a granny in them. Like, do you feel me? Yeah, you know. So, I need to find me a new bra, and I just am a little clueless. And I told Joel, the only way I'm gonna find a bra, you can't do it online. I'm like, we need to go down to Salt Lake City. And that, I would get to the stairs and be like, okay, where's the wheelchair? <laughs> like, there's no way I can just go shopping. You guys, I don't, I hope you are catching this drift here. I can't do anything. I am so, I just can't do anything. The other day, if you watched the vlog when I, I told the kids we couldn't go to Summerfest, that was no joke. I physically couldn't do it. I just, if I walk that much, I'm contracting. I'm having very strong contractions and I physically cannot walk. So, I don't know. I am trying to take it easy because it's very serious to me that I don't want to have this baby yet. For those of you wondering, yes, I am going to be filming a birth video, and so I've um, I've ordered a couple new batteries, and 
um, I'll make sure to have those all charged and so anyway when I do my nursery video I will make sure to include my diaper bag or my hospital bag so that you can see what I have in there too so for right now I've just been getting those things together and I definitely want to get these things done sooner than later because I'm a little nervous that this baby might come soon so yes that's what I've been up to Thanks for the support, like always. Thank you for your nice comments. And if you guys, when I do go into labor or when things happen, I will be posting um, the information on Instagram and Twitter. So if you would like to follow me on those social media sites, you can look at the links down below. Because if I don't think I'm going to be uploading the birth video, very soon after I deliver because I'm gonna be the one editing it so I'm thinking it'll be like two weeks after I have the baby that maybe the video will go up maybe a week we'll see we'll see how things are going but if you want to keep updated and see pictures and be first notified you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys I love doing this I love making these update I love making these updates and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.